In this demo, we're going to look at creating a work combination chart. This works very similar to the Timer Pro work instructions. Uh, in the, uh, when you have the line balance on the screen, you hit the right mouse button and you make the selection down here and it says send to work combination. Click on that and it will bring up the box where you're going to decide the location of where you want to put the work combination charts. We click on the browse button and here we are in the folder where we're going to put the work combo chart. So I'm going to create a new option here and typically you give it part number, we'll call it part number, let's call it part number one, right? Uh, we'd recommend that you make the folders the name of the part number. Go in here and then create the new Excel sheet. I'll just call it part number one. All right, give it the same name as a folder. That way everything will be organized under here. Click on the open and you can see it's going to show you where it's going to put it in the name of the Excel sheet that's going to be created. At that point, all you do is click on the OK and it will then start populating the standard work template here. So just like in the work instructions, it starts pouring each of the operations into its own sheet in the Excel sheet. You can see it being built down at the bottom here and you can see it pouring in the uh, combination details here as it goes through. And upon finish, you can see here down at the bottom, we have got a separate sheet for each of the operations that was in our line balancing here. We'll talk a little bit later about how you can customize the sheet to your own particular requirements in, a, in the next video. But here we have a actual summary of each of the tasks here. And what we can do is we can also break it down into different components. So for instance, here you see the time. This is the time from Timer Pro right here. This is the manual time that we put in here now. It may be quite uh, feasible that it's not all manual time. So if some of the time was weight, you can put in four here. And that will give you this additional little tab here for the wait time. And it's showing you now that this time exceeds the value over here. You can see 19 is obviously higher than, than, 50, than 15. So we need to reduce this one here. So we're going to put that down here and see that went back down to 11. And when you do that, it will come back in here. What we're showing here is the... Uh, the feature in the package, for instance, if I make this a 7 here, right, this will turn to green, means you have to add more time to make it add up to the total time over here. If we make an excessive amount, let's say we did like 15 like we had originally, it will go red, that means you get too much time here. The value 19 is obviously higher than the value of 15 here. So we make this value 11 here, it will disappear. There's actually a range in here, we're using conditional formatting, it allows you to go half a second uh, or half a minute depending on your time units before or after it will say that's acceptable and you can see what it's doing here it's actually building the chart for you here and let's just say there was some automated work in here so you might want to add like three seconds worth of automated work here and that's going to show it up here now of course in that case this is going to be a little bit of a, a, a exceeded here so it's showing it out in here in the uh, balance chart Notice all this also the way that the uh, Excel sheet has been named. Here's our part number one, and this means timer pro, and this means revision number one. So timer pro is maintaining this. We're on revision number one, and we've just made an, a change, a change this a, a range large stack on the stack parts task down here. So I'm going to close this now. I right, want to change it. I'm going to say yes. I want to change, save the changes back on the Excel sheet, uh, sorry, on the process itself. And you can see it's called part number one, Timer Pro maintained it, and we're on revision number one. Here's the arranged large stack. We're going to move it over here. So I'm going to move it over to here. And because I did that, I'm going to actually take this mount tray across here and drop it in there, and also the secure tray and put it in there. So I've made a change to the process now, and that would mean you'd have to regenerate the, um, the work combination charts here. So we hit the right mouse button, and we come down here, send the work combination. We browse it and we look for revision number one. Click on the open, then click on the OK. What it will do will instantly create revision number two for you here and start populating it with those particular uh, changes taking effect here. So it's doing all the work for you in creating these work combination charts. And when it finishes, it's going to create the revision history to show you what is actually happening here. Okay, and here's the TP change. Timer Pro changed this. It says element mount tray was moved from stack parts to attach tray. Element secure tray was moved from stack parts to attach tray. Element arranged large stack moved to from attach tray to stack parts. Right, so we basically switch them around here. So if we go back and we look to the stack parts here, uh, sorry, attach tray, 
there you'll find your new one here. And you notice it's actually maintained the breakout of the wait time, the manual time, and the auto time. So you don't have to go back in and break that up again. You just have to do it once, and then it will be reflected here. At the top of the sheet, you can see we've got the available time per shift in seconds here. The daily output we're expecting to get. Of course, this is a calculation to calculate the tag time. If you want to change any of these values, if you scroll back down to the bottom here, go to the blank sheet here, and you can change them. So let's say you wanted to change this to 26 and a half thousand seconds. Right, that's the seconds. And then we come over here, and let's say the output is going to change to, uh, let's say, 480. So we put 480 in here. If I'm making those changes here, you can see my tag time has changed to 55 seconds. But that's also been changed in every one of my sheets here. So it continues all the way through. You can see them being carried here. And actually, if you click on that, you can see the Excel uh, format to point back to the blank sheet to pick up the values right here. Right? Uh, here, you can actually put in a little layout of the area. This is the station, the different stations involved. This is the uh, actual operator walk pattern. And this is the WIP, the working process, each of the stages. Of course, you can put any uh, graphic you want in here. You can also pick up any picture that you want. And maybe it's a, a picture of the work, workstation here. Or you can play one of the videos here. So for instance, here are the video links here. If I double click on this, it's actually going to bring up the video and play it right here. This is a free viewer that comes with Timer Pro. So in this case, the guy is going to be securing four screws. And you can see him doing that there. Right. Let's say I wanted to grab a snapshot, I can just grab a snapshot right here, exit out of here. I can come up to this cell right here, hit the right mouse button and paste it in there. And then I can size it to fit the actual area I have here. Right. So you can drag it over and you can drag it up. And that will become part of your uh, of your document in here. An area for tips and comments. And over here on the right, you can see we've actually got an area where you can put in a little flowchart of the work content if you want. All of these are optional. Obviously, you can change this any way you want. You might want to put more pictures in there, this type of thing. Um, and then when you're ready to print it out, you simply go to File, and you'll go to Print. I'll do a print preview here so you can see it here. Uh, we've already set up uh, to work correctly, so we've got it to fit the page, and we get margins set and so forth and you get a preview here of what you would actually get if you printed it right out here. It'll come out looking uh, quite a nice uh, um, printout here. So again, to summarize, the as items change on your process as you move work content around, right? you can generate your uh, work combination charts just by selecting the send to work combination here. If you have uh, several different versions, it will keep the revision history of each one of them. You select the last one that you worked on, click on the open, click on the OK, give it a few seconds and it will now create revision number three for you, saving a tremendous amount of manual effort here.